Hello there, welcome to the episode of Rance's Chris Andro, and uh, just a quick update on a few things that have happened uh, regarding uh, Spurs, well everything about Spurs obviously, and the first thing is that um, we've appointed a new director of football, you'll have seen it, um, uh, spoken about uh, throughout the day, uh, Johan Langer, Danish uh, te technical director of football, who uh, had a similar role at Aston Villa and uh, had been there for a few years, um, helping them uh, build their way back up from the championship all the way to uh, where they are now in the premiership, you know, uh, finishing in the European spot last season. And he was credited with uh, bringing through the, the likes of uh, Bubaka Kamara, Ollie Watkins and the, and the like. So um, he's a guy with pedigree and uh, he'll be heading up the first, the, the men's, sorry, the first team and the academy. So um, he'll be working obviously uh, below Scott Munn. So welcome to you, uh, to, to Tottenham. On, I know that um, there were a few issues with him at, um, at Aston Villa which um, necessitated his departure. But uh, yeah, hopefully you'll uh, find uh, Spurs' as new home and uh, we'll shall see great things with him. But that doesn't mean that um, Fabio Paratici is uh, not with us. He's still with us on a consultant basis. So uh, be interesting to see how that works out. But um, yeah, looking forward to seeing those two work together. So uh, yeah, welcome to uh, Johan Longer and uh, hope um, your time with us is it was as fruitful, what well, is as fruitful as it was in Aston Villa. And also uh, another thing, um, Tottenham's Tottenham Hotspur Stadium has been selected as uh, one of the 10 venues for uh, the 2028 uh, European Championship. So it'll be a UK and Ireland adventure. So um, uh, stadiums in Scotland, Northern Ireland, and the Republic of Ireland. So that's seven. So that's three. And the other seven in England. And uh, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was uh, made a shortlist and uh, got through. I mean, the likes of Old Trafford, uh, the Emirates, um, a few others as well, uh, didn't make the uh, shortlist, which is uh, kind of surprising. But at the same time, you know, it's good that um, our uh, Innovator Stadium, recognised as one of the best in Europe and certainly one of the, the finest in the world, is going to be showcased. Hopefully it'll be a couple of games in the uh, Euro, we shall see what happens, but um, yeah, and hopefully one of them will be a semi-final. That'll be a great showcase, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, so that's uh, some good news there for Spurs, and uh, and some good news regarding the uh, the backroom team now that's uh, getting the uh, that's getting the finalisation that it needs. So uh, let us know what you think. Will this all take us forward? And also, when the Euros in 2020 yeah, comes around, Obviously, will you be seeing some games at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? I'm going to certainly try. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about uh, today's news in the comments below. And I shall talk to you all soon. Come on, you Spurs. You all take care.